Hello, Gulfport. Mayor Sam Henderson here with you again. We've got some updates uh, from the county and the state uh, regarding the approaching hurricane, now Hurricane uh, Milton. Uh, we are under a state of emergency as of 2 p.m. this afternoon. We are expecting uh, rapidly strengthening Hurricane Milton to continue moving eastward and northeastward across the Gulf of Mexico and become a major hurricane before making landfall here on the west coast of Florida. Hurricane and storm surge watches are likely later today, uh, being Sunday, October 6th. Uh, schools, Pinellas County schools are closed Monday through Wednesday. We anticipate that those could be extended. Other closures are still to come. We will keep our sandbag locations open over at the corner, uh, the northwest corner of Hoyt Field, which is at 23rd Avenue South and 57th Street South. That is a self-serve location, so bring what you need to get your sand in the bags. Um, and please just take what you need and make sure there's some left. We'll continue to stock that as long as we are able until either resources run out or uh, the weather deteriorates. We will be opening our call center here in Gulfport tomorrow morning, Monday, October 7th at 9 a.m. That will remain open until 8 p.m. You can reach us at 727-893-1000 and we'll try to answer any questions you may have. Um, in Pinellas County, they are already evacuating ALFs, assisted living facilities and hospitals. Uh, levels A, B, and C. So all those evacuation zones are have already been triggered uh, for hospitals and assisted living facilities. We expect far many more closures to come uh, in the next 24 hours, so please pay attention to local, local newscasts. If you have other questions, uh, you can also check in at disaster.pinellas.gov. Uh, make sure you know your zone. Uh, and one thing I want to say very specifically in the case of this storm. This is looking um, for all intents and purposes like it is going to be the trifecta of a hurricane. Uh, excessive precipitation, uh, hurricane force winds, uh, as well as life-threatening storm surge uh, predictions up to 10 feet at this point, which is higher than what we received um, just a week and a half ago from Helene. If you are in an evacuation zone, it is critical, critical that you not remain uh, in your home if you're in one of these evacuation zones, this the danger is exacerbated by the fact that we still have extensive debris left over from Hurricane Helene. We have been picking this up at breakneck speed, but there is a lot to get. This material is going to either become potentially projectiles uh, driven by wind, or it is going to become a hazard in the water as it is floated and driven by uh, storm surge and coastal flooding. So areas that were previously hazardous in Helene are going to be even more so if we do end up getting this storm surge. I am not trying to scare anyone, but I want you to understand what's coming and I want you to be smart and start your preparations now. Do not even consider keep it staying on your boat out in open waters in Boca Ciega Bay. Um, the marina is not in the position to take on any vessels at this point due to damages from Hurricane Helene. So if the best you can do is get your boat or vessel to a place that is somewhat sheltered uh, by the surrounding terrain, do that, but do not ride out this storm on your boat. I cannot stress that enough. Um, I want everyone to uh, continue to, to do what you've been doing, which is taking care of yourself, taking care of each other. Uh, this is going to be really difficult. Uh, I'm not even going to pretend that it isn't. This is our third hurricane in six weeks. Uh, so please make your plan now. Get your evacuation plan together now. Um, it, is, it is the time. We're expecting to start feeling the effects of this storm as of Tuesday. So let us know if you need any help. Again, 727-893-1000 from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. tomorrow. The library friends room will still have, uh, we'll still have representatives in there from FEMA to help you uh, navigate your claim. Uh, but again, all of our operations are just pending, uh, being postponed due to the storm but we will keep you informed. Check in here with us at mygulfport.us and by calling the number again, 727-893-1000. Do the right thing, Gulfport. Hang in there. Like Gloria Gaynor says, we will survive. Thank you.